Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the day so like it, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Shalom, Yesha Allah. Peace, Israel. Call Halayim La, Allah Hayyanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka HaKwadash. I am the brother Kasa Gadol from the camp province of Babylon, down here in Tampa, Florida, coming at you with another quick hit through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. They taught me this truth and rule well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutation to the hopeful elect, the house of David, that is scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth, that is laboring in his truth with all sincerity. Shalom. Hoping to feed the lambs and the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Straight to the point, let's get to the lesson. Draw nigh unto Yahweh, wa Yahweh Shah. Draw nigh unto Yahweh, wa Yahweh Shah. All right, back to the precept of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right, man. So in this time, in these evil days that's coming, okay, though it tarry away for it, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3, we should be at this time drawing nigh to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, all right? Because if you want the Lord to be able to protect you, if you want the Lord to be there for you, if you want the Lord to make sure that you eat, okay, you have to be putting in the works, man, all right? Not just putting in the works. You got to be making sure that you're fasting, you have to be making sure that you're praying, all right? You have to be making sure that you're doing the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man, okay? Because scriptures say what? Um, uh, loosely paraphrasing, shall I find faith, shall I find faith on earth, all right? That's why, because a lot of these people are faithful, faithfulness out here, man. They say they believe, but if you believe in the Bible, or they'll say they believe in the Bible, but but don't believe in God. Or they'll believe in God, but won't believe in the Bible, man. Okay, so they contradict themselves. Okay, so at this time, faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of the things not seen. So therefore, we should be drawn not to your help by Shemiah Rashad. All right, because on top of having fear, all right, comes fear. With fear comes wisdom. With wisdom comes knowledge. With knowledge comes understanding. With understanding and all of those things added up comes faith, man. Okay, you have to believe that Yahweh Shah is there for you. You have to believe that Yahweh Shah is going to be there for you. You have to believe that the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, will and is going to protect you, man. Okay, let's grab this priest up. Bear with me. Salakia. <clears throat> This is the book of, um, let's go to Matt, I mean Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 19. It says, for the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of better hope did, by the which we draw nigh unto Yahweh, man. Okay, so we are hoping to be a part of that elect. We are hoping to be saved out of this captivity, man. We are hoping that Yahweh shall crack those skies and come back and deal with these motherfucking heathens, man. OK, we are hoping that we get those spiritual powers to be able to dash these damn heathen little ones across the sun and take I mean, across the damn uh, across the, 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 the Salakia. We're hoping to get those spiritual powers to be able to take the little ones and dash them across the stones, man. We're hoping to get those spiritual powers to go out here and fuck these damn elites up, man. That's been fucking us up for all these years, man. OK, we're hoping for these things, man. But at that same time, with that hope, we need to be drawing nigh. We need to be reading more, fasting, praying, okay? Constantly watching videos. The more videos you watch, the faster you will grow because then you'll start getting that understanding, man. That's drawing nigh to your how about Shemiah Rashad, man. You see? 
you can't expect for you can't expect for wisdom to come if you're not looking for it or if you're not searching for it. Okay, you can't expect for fear to come if you're not uh, looking for it or searching for it. Fear will come. You have to search for fear. How are you gonna search for fear by reading the scriptures, man? Understanding what it is that you're a part of. Okay, understanding that if I go off. This could happen to me. If I do this, this could happen to me. Oh, shit. Eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster is abomination unto the Lord. Let me not do that. Okay? So the more you put that fear in you, the more you're going to grow, man. You see? Because the times that we are coming in are perilous times, man. If you don't, if, you, if you're if you not close to your how about shimmy, how was shy, when that time comes, when this society does go cashless, who you going to lean on, man? Who you going to call on? Okay, when there's no more food in these stores, all right? When 2nd Ezra 6 and 22 comes to play, when there's no more food in these stores, who you gonna call on, man? You gonna call on Jesus? Because Jesus is gonna come through your fucking front door and kick the bitch in like a madman, sparing none, ready to lay you and everyone down in there, man. So who are you gonna call on, man? You gonna call on Allah, but all Allah means is power, man. And that, who is that? You see, you have to know the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son name, man. Acts 4 and 12, man. You see? You have to know the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son name, the truthful name. Okay? So you need to be drawing nigh to your how about Shimei I was shot, man. Why? Because our redemption is drawing nigh, man. How do we know that? Per se loot, man. You see? Let's grab this real quick before we grab that loot. Let's go to 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 18. And it says, and it, and it said, behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that the well upon the earth, man. Right. The Lord is drawing nigh. It was just a video that was put up. One of my, the, the head of my camp did a lesson on it, man. All right. Go subscribe to the brother channel, man, at Ibar144, man. There's a video that he put up. Where there was a fleet of chariots. Salaki, I'm outside doing a walk and talk. Bear with me. But Salaki for the noise. There was a fleet of chariots flying over Las Vegas, man. You see? Brothers are seeing chariots all, all, every day, man. More and more video, more and more chariot sighters are coming up, man. So the high, so the Yahweh by Shimei Hawasha is drawing nigh to this earth, man. Scriptures say that, uh, behold, my behold, my eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, man. How is that? Through through the chariots, man. So the Lord is drawing nigh. Okay? Quick testimony. My son had a dream last week. He came up to me. He said, Daddy, I want to see Yahweh's kingdom. And I said, you will, son. You're going to see Yahweh's kingdom? He said, no, son. He was like, no, Daddy. So like, yeah, I did see it. And I was like, nah, nah, you lying. Then he tells me, and he's like, no, daddy, I did. And when I seen it, I was like, okay, so what did you have a shot look like? He was like, he looked like us. He looked like you, but he was a little darker, and he was glowing. He was so bright to a point that if anybody looked at, his, looked at him, they would go blind. Listen, man, the spirit of the Lord is pouring out upon everyone, man. Joe, per se, Joel. But see, the spirit of the Lord is pouring out upon everyone, man. Even these heathens, man. They're starting to understand what their judgment is, man. So if these heathens can know that you're Israelite, why can't you, Jakes, know that you're Israelite, man? If Thomas Jefferson knew that you, that, that you Jakes, were Israelites, man, why can't you know that you're Israelites, man? Let's grab this. Let's end it on this, man. Let's go to Luke. All right. This is Luke chapter 21. Salakia, in verse 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh, man. Right, our redemption draweth nigh. Our Redeemer is coming, man. Yahweh Shah is coming, brothers. We're almost home, man. So don't let up. Don't take your hand off the plow. Keep pushing. Keep fighting the good fight of faith, man. Keep being holy and acceptable. Man, until you how by Shimei Awashai, keep your loins girded up, man. Okay? Don't take your foot off the plow, man. If you was in a race and you was racing somebody in the car, and y'all on the y'all on the straightway, you see him got you beat by by a few steps, you're gonna take your foot off the gas? No, man. You're gonna keep hitting it. 
You may come out of clutch and keep going, man. So that's what we got to do, man. Somebody may be growing a little more than you. Somebody may get got it a little more than you. That don't stop you, man. Keep fighting the good fight of faith and keep, grow, and keep growing, man. Our redemption draweth not. We're almost home, man. With that, I'm going to close out and give all praise to God, honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakha HaKadash. And I'm going to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught me the truth to rule well. Hopefully this video was edifying to you. If it was edifying to you, then be edifying to the light that scattered abroad. Shalom.